Yeah. So at some point, counseling used to be a negative connotation. And I mean, I'm talking about spiritual, biblical theme counseling where you're tapping into the resources that really make a difference, which right. are the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Right. I mean, what's wrong with your family getting together and having a weekend of Well, sharing? it's difficult. It, that's not something you just flippantly do. We, we were at a point, you know, with one of our children that she was just really not handling life very well. Right. And, you know. Which is a common thing among <clears throat> humans. Exactly. You know, but ages and seasons. But when we said we just we need to we need to get something done. We need some type of intervention because it it's been the same cycle of, you know, the come to Jesus meetings that Jason and I have talked about for years that we do with our kids. They worked for the boys, you know, but with, you know, with me it was just it was a different situation right. and so it's somebody that we really prayed about. And saw it after, and she was. She knows us. Right. She knows our situation as our family. So, so yeah, it was. Um, it was a turning point in our family, and we've only gone up in all of our relationships. Well, since and, then. and and think about how many times you guys, and I know mom and dad have, Lisa and I have a ton, have <laughs> provided wise counsel just from the Bible to help people through a rough patch. And we're all just, you know, we're not trained other than we love the Lord and we have the Holy Spirit and we know a lot of the Bible. But there are people who have all those abilities and then also have some more training yes. beyond that, which can help. I and mean, you mentioned Trent. I mean, a tremendous guy, you know, with great heart, knows the Word of mm -hmm. God, great individual. But he also has some really good training to mm -hmm. help other people through this. So counseling, you're right, Jason, it shouldn't be... That it's a negative. It should always. It should be a positive. You know, and there's everybody at some point in your life. I was life kind of speaking counsel. to myself on that. Yeah, I knew you were. I'm glad you repented <laughs> <'Cause>, to yourself. <laughs> yeah, I was like counseling. I mean, I well, and it, it's the you think about a generation removed. You know, my parents uh, and their friends and and that whole generation. I don't know that they would have ever called in a counselor and said, we need some help with our family dynamic and in that situation. Right. So, you know, I think just what I've told my kids to, especially Reed and Brighton, because they're the ones that are married and, and just had a baby. But my, my goal is for you to parent better than we did. I hope that we parented better than my parents and so forth, because each generation Jay says, take the meat and spit out the bones. You know, we want you to be better than us. It's not a competition, but that whole fall on the sword, you know, talk about your mistakes. Those are not easy to do. Right. But boy, if you do it, it sure can make a difference with your relationships. Yeah, once I did it, it became easier. Right. Because then it's like it's disarming for your kids. I mean, they're like, I mean, well, Dad, you did this one time. And I'm like, yep. That was wrong. Yeah. Then it's like crickets. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I could have done that better. Mm -hmm. Yep. What, and, and what else you got? It's yep. I was wrong on that too. <laughs> it's important to hear that. Now, mm -hmm. are you going to use that and try to explain to God why, you know, you just went off the wrong end because I made a couple, you know, glaring mistakes or whatever? Right. So I don't know. something disarming about it. And, I mean, I, we, we, we did that with all our kids. Yeah, you know, that was our exit strategy, I guess.